Can we bake a deep dish pizza in a car? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Right off the bat, we wanna let you know, today's episode was paid for by NHTSA, AKA the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, but also, this is our big season finale. Season finale! But fear not, because next week, we're gonna be right here every single day, counting down the top moments of the season. Mm-hmm, and then we'll be back, before you know it, kicking off 2020 in style with season 17 of Good Mythical Morning, right here on January 13th. Now, NHTSA wants to remind you to drive sober or get pulled over, which is not only a sentiment we completely agree with, but also an important message that we want to take to new, never before seen heights. That's right, we wanna remind you, don't drive drunk, drive pizza. Yes. <laughs> and by drive pizza, we mean we're going to turn a car into a pizza and ride that bad boy right into the history books. Yeah, a few months ago, we got our hands on a beat up 25 year old hoopty of a car, and since then, we have put it through the ringer. In the name of internet science, we left things in that car for a month only to find out what would happen to them. And we took the wheels off that car and replaced them with wheels made out of cheese for no reason other than to amuse ourselves. And best or worst of all, we subjected that car to a photo shoot with the men of Mythical for a surprisingly sexy 2020 calendar. <laughs> surprisingly sexy. Uh, but none of that compares to how we plan on ending the car's journey today. Hmm. In the spirit of not driving drunk, but instead driving pizza, We've asked the Mythical crew to turn the car into a pizza oven that we can fill with ingredients that will come together to form a car-sized deep dish pizza. Of course, we had no idea how to do this, so we brought the idea to Mythical art director Paisley and Mythical chef Josh for a game plan. Let's see what they came up with. So Rhett and Link have asked us now to turn the car into a pizza oven somehow, and so we're working on how to do that, um, and obviously my job's to turn the car into the oven. Uh, and so there's a bunch of things to do to make that happen. We're gonna have to gut the interior of the car. Basically anything that's not metal has to go out of the car. Even the glass we'll have to pull. Then I'm gonna have to fill the door cavities and the front dash with expanding foam so flames and sparks can't get through there. That insulation will also help keep the heat in so the car doesn't get hot. Uh, we'll cut the roof off the car and so that way we can get all our toppings in and everything. Then we're gonna fill the bottom of the car up with sand, I guess, and that'll like level it off. Then we'll put rocks down. And then on top of that, we'll put some pancake griddles. Those griddles then will have a layer of stone over all that. And so those stones, hopefully will get really, really hot and kind of create like a brick pizza oven effect. This is what it's gonna look like. Better than theory should make the car a pizza oven. I'm just gonna order a bunch of cheese and sauce and stuff. And maybe a bell pepper. Oh. That was a lot of work and I still got a lot of questions, <laughs> but the pizza <laughs> oven is apparently finished and ready for baking. Okay, but before we attempt to make pizza magic happen, we do wanna say, even if you have your own Mike Paisley, even if you have your own Mythical Chef Josh, and even if you have your own expendable junk car lying around your house, we do not recommend you do any of this at home. Shall we? Yes. Oh! Wow. <laughs> pizza car. This is a good looking pizza oven car. <laughs> yeah, this is the best pizza oven car I've ever made. Yeah, it's the best one I've ever seen. There's pancake griddles in here. There's yeah, four yeah, of them. Yeah. Yep. You're gonna fire those up. Well, they're going already. And then you've got like a heat bazooka. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the technical term. It's a heat bazooka in the back. It's gonna go through the- rockets the... in heat to keep it more oven-like. So then we'll put the top of the car back on to help have like a lid to the oven while it's raising up the temperature, cooking this thing. All right, so all we gotta do is put a pizza in, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. put a top on, yeah. and bakey bakey. Which is easy. And so for the rest of this, I'm gonna tag in Mythical Chef Josh. Mythical Chef Josh, please report to the convertible pizza oven. Yeah, that brick goes nowhere. Good work, Mike. Thank you. you hey, Josh. Season 22 of Pimp My Ride. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta start by rolling out our dough. So I got this giant tarp. You take that. Is this gonna work? Oh yeah, it's gonna work. We got a 50 pound bag of flour. And we're just gonna start laying this out there. <laughs> you don't you don't adjust for wind. You want? Yeah, just, just grab some handfuls, get it on the tarp. This is just so it doesn't stick. I see you wore your white shoes, Lane. That was smart. Yeah, I wore my flower shoes. We wanna limit the amount of uh, feet on that, whatever, who cares? Nicole, do me. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Get your, hey get, your, get your back into hey. it. You've been kneading that? 
like it. No tomorrow. Because I've been wanting it. <laughs> All right, so we can just go ahead and dump this dough out. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Ah, she just flipped her over. That's a freaking lot of dough. How, how did you Thanks, need man. that? Oh, so you gotta use your feet. How big do you want this dough to be? So the dimensions are gonna be about seven feet by five feet, or what we're looking for. This is gonna... We're, we, we're, gonna need a, we're gonna need a bigger roller. Push, yeah. You gotta push down on it. Uh, there it is. You gotta kind of mash, uh, mash it in. You gotta, you gotta push down on it. Uh, just uh, just un undress to your level of comfort. And then you gotta we'll, be careful where you're grabbing. You know what? We didn't put enough flour on the top of the dough. Yeah, just pull it, just yank it. Josh, this is your idea, yeah, man. Yeah, it's working. We've destroyed the dough. No, 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 no we got it. No, no, see that right there? That we, just, you know all, what? All we did was make a, a dough pile. Nicole! And another dough pile. We need more dough. Nicole, we're in a hurry. Get the, thanks Nicole. All right, so the way you would actually make a Chicago deep dish pizza is you would Start heating up the pan, and then you're actually gonna press the dough into the pan, so maybe we can just do that. All right, since this is a Chicago deep dish pizza, you wanna sprinkle a little bit of cornmeal? Great, let's uh, dump this trash seemed, dough. This is kind of ceremonial. Yeah, it's like a, the, to bless the, the pizza car. I think we should just dump this right in the middle, figure it out. Okay, I like Three, that. One, two, go. Oh God, oh gosh, okay. Then it ooze out. There we cool. go. Okay. Mission accomplished. We're just gonna try to smush this everywhere? Oh yeah. So. I think once we get it, really pat it out. Then we can start rolling it. We only have one of these? Yeah. And it's this size? Yeah. Look, we're already got the walls. I can't. Do you wanna try this? Huh? Yeah, I wanna try it. Oh crap, what is that? It's, it's I don't know. It's a tamper. <laughs> Here, let me get in there. I'm trying to give you. Watch yourself. Yeah. There's not a whole lot that I can do, <laughs> except just sort of can say that again. <laughs> yeah, I like that though. That's not doing anything. I'm entering existential crisis mode. I think we just gotta line these bricks. This is gonna be the crust. Here, uh, okay. there we go. Okay. There it is. Um, <laughs> yeah, push. Okay. Ah. Yeah. No, I got you, don't be scared. I'm not doing anything. That's what I'm not great. doing it. Just keep pushing. That's what friends are for. <laughs> this is the Chicago tradition. <sighs> we did it. And it's not like we got six additional people to help us or anything. You guys oh. order 80 pounds of cheese? Yes, sir. All right, so there Chicago deep dish always starts with the cheese before the sauce. So you want to get about half this in there. Really? We'll start before taking before the sauce. Yeah, it kind of creates a nice little insulating layer. Oh yeah. There we go. It's raining cheese. Time. Oh my goodness. Boy, I love that sloshing sound. Ah! All right, start grabbing more cheese and just hucking it in. Whoa, it just kind of sunk. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, okay, well. You, you gotta go, you, I, got, you gotta do more of a scatter, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. The gentle. The gentle layer. Yeah, you gotta you gotta really work with the surface tension of the sauce. Smart. You know that point in every project where you start to doubt whether or not the intended vision is going to be accomplished? I'm kinda at that right now. You're talking about five minutes in every video we make? Yes. All right, well, cheese, Nicole, toppings! Okay, so we're moving on to toppings mode. Please, so we got some whole vegetables. If you wanna throw them. That seems satisfying. Oh, look, it's floating. Oh. Link, whole onions. Link, That's I know you onions. don't like black olives, so I'm just being sparing with them. Oh, because God. not every, Come on, no, half, half, half. Because not half, every, half, half. You ruin every piece half, of order. Half. We don't do substitutions. Okay. Gosh, what if about we these keep placing here? mushrooms? Eat around the, eat around them. Stop. It, it looks prettier. Man. Put some mushrooms on there. Oh, I just, I just dropped all of the sliced peppers. Oh, oh my God. no, you didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't. I'm picking these up out of a bag. So Josh, this looks like you took a giant summer sausage and just uh, sliced it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Here. Guys, I can tell you, it's actually starting to look like a freaking yeah, pizza. it does. And now we bake. Mike! <laughs>
<laughs> Looks like a freaking pizza, doesn't it? I like that you just left the vegetables whole. Yeah. Yeah. yeah why not? It's oh, pizza. it's black olives on the whole thing. So how? So now what? Uh, well, now we're gonna put the pizza lid slash car lid. What do you call it? Top? Car lid? Oven top. Uh, oven top. top. And then we're gonna fire up the uh, the the heat rocket or whatever you called earlier. Yeah. We're oh. gonna go right over top of the car all the way to the front. Oh yeah. And this is an aftermarket adjustment, so we might have to do a little fitting. But it should just kind of. Isn't this how a Bronco works? Now, Mike. Yeah. There are a lot of holes in this oven. You think any heat might escape here? Here? Or here? Or here? here or there? Here? Or there? Oh. Here? Yeah, right there, I guess. On this front corner. Um, no. I think we're fine. Okay, good. Fire it up. Heat bazooka. Three, activate. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! I almost choked on my pepperoni. Okay, so we took the top off and then put this uh, insulation and this heat blanket on top to kind of make a smaller area for us to heat up. Yeah, it's been baking for just short of four hours, then we let it rest for an hour, so it should be cool enough to eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at those bubbles. <laughs> the doughs actually rose up through the, we had like a mountain of sauce in there. How is that possible? Uh, magic. <laughs> How is it possible? The, the dough from the bottom came all the way up and made dough bubbles. I what? do not know. Guys, you yeah. did an amazing job. <laughs> In spite of girl. everything that I believe. That's a deep dish pizza. Look at, <laughs> look at all of this. Oh my goodness. Okay, but before we get any deeper into this, I feel like, I mean, this is a pizza in a car. We need to get into the pizza, right? <laughs> With certain precautions, yes. Surf's up, dude. Let's get in some pizza. <laughs> Why? Okay. Oh. As if it couldn't get weird. It might be hot down Whoa. there. Ooh. Whoa. It's a, it's a bit warm. <laughs> it's really my Just, I'm gonna hold on to this chair. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. It's, it's a bit slippery. You wanna just. Oh. Oh, oh, the wheel. I never thought I'd be what? jealous of this, but I am. Ooh, I want to yeah. get in bad. I get that. Get right up here on this. <laughs> <laughs> Got you guys a cider ranch. <laughs> there you go. There, there you go. go. Yeah, I like that. How's that? Uh, it's all right. It has a bed-like quality to it, doesn't it? Man. It's so pillowy. Oh, yeah. That dough, it really, the way the dough hugs my curves. Oh, yeah. You know all those new mattresses they're coming out with? Yeah. How about the pizza mattress? Here we go. All right, I think I'm, if you want to go under completely, I think I'm going to have to assist the dough. I'm just going to just fold you in. I'm just going to, I'm just, fo I'm just folding you in. Just folding you into the dough. Just, Look at that. Now you're in a pizza, man. You're in a pizza, man. You're the pizza man. You are the pizza man. <sighs> oh. Should I experience the same? Dough me. Gotta get on this. Now that's what I call a Chicago tradition. <laughs> oh, you ready? Yeah, I'm so ready. Right, I've never I, been more ready for anything. I want you to bite this like a like a pig. Like a pig. All right, now I'm gonna take a deep breath. Oh my god. I need to get this over the beard. There we go. Look at all of that. Oh my gosh, this oh this dough. He emerges! He lives! Yes! My creation is alive! Papa! <laughs> All right, drive us out of here. How do we crank this thing up? Uh, yeah, you don't. That's why we got a tow truck. See you next season! Wait, we still gotta spin the wheel. Oh, crap. Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Danielle. And we just saw Rhett and Link live in New York for the Bleak Creek Conversations. 
and it's it's time time to spin spin the wheel wheel of mythicality. Thanks to Nitsa who paid for today's episode, and remember, drive sober or get pulled over, or as we say, don't Don't drive drive drunk, drunk, drive drive pizza. pizza. Thank you for another season of Good Mythical Morning. Couldn't have done it without you. It would have been weird to have nobody watch. Uh, and this isn't the end though, because we'll be here every day next week counting down the best, craziest, and weirdest moments of the year as decided on by you. And then we shall return on January 13th for a brand new season of GMM, season 17. Woo! For now, click the top link to watch us guest car parts in Good Mythical Morning. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Stick to what you love and stick our pins on things you love. Collect all three mythical enamel pins now at mythical.com.